IDVR Pro surveillance DVRs can be set up to record when video motion is detected by security cameras. To set up motion detection recording, select Record Setup from the main menu. These DVRs support traditional motion recording and also intensive motion detection recording. On the motion recording screen, the recording resolution, frames per second, and compression quality can be individually set for each camera. If any of the security cameras have an audio microphone associated with it, audio recording is enabled here. Also on the screen is where the pre and post recording times are set. Intensive motion recording allows you to set up separate settings for continuous and motion detection recordings. Intensive motion recording is typically set up to record at a lower frame rate during continuous recording and a maximum frame rate when motion is detected. This helps to conserve hard drive space. To set up motion detection areas for each security camera, select System Setup from the main menu. Then select Motion Sensor from the camera menu. On the motion sensor screen, I select edit area for the camera that I want to configure. By default, the entire screen is selected for motion detection. Using the mouse, I right click, then delete, deselect all to clear the motion area. Next, I left click on the mouse and drag to select the motion detection zone that I want to set up. Next, I right click to access the menu, then select sensitivity. On this screen, you can configure different sensitivity levels for day and night times. You can right click to bring up the menu to select a different camera. This camera is not detecting motion, so I'm going to set the sensitivity higher. The blue squares on the screen indicate motion is detected. This is helpful when setting the sensitivity levels. When I am done, I right click and select Save and Exit. To search and play back motion detection recordings, select Search from the main menu. The timeline on the search screen indicates time of motion detected recordings with the blue bars. Using the timeline scrubber, I can select a time, then click Playback. The recorded video begins to play back starting at that point in time. On the playback screen, I can select different screen views. There are also video player controls that let me play the video in forward and reverse using normal and faster playback speeds. I can also pause the video. When I am done, I return to the live camera view by selecting live from the main menu. To learn more about iDVR Pro surveillance DVRs, please visit www.idvrpro.com. Thank you for watching.